Hey guys, welcome back. So in today's video, we are going to be playing with some more drugstore makeup. I feel like the drugstore is just making it so hard for me to stick to my New Year's resolution of just not <laughs> buying so much makeup. I feel like I bought so much makeup already in the beginning of the new year. Not so much high end though, which I'm happy about because high end obviously is more expensive. I have not purchased, I don't think, much the the Ulta haul that you saw in here was the only high-end makeup I bought so far this year um, So I have been staying clear from Sephora, but the drugstore just keeps popping off and it's just The drugstore just has a special place in my heart and it's really hard to resist so I need to rear it in pretty soon in today's video the main focus is going to be hard candy so hard candy has came out with quite a few new products I didn't purchase absolutely everything, mostly the things that intrigued me. So one of them is the Glow Primer. Um, this is the Luminous Serum Glow Primer. So this seemed really interesting. And then I did get the Gel Bronzer and Luminous Blush. They both seem to be a bit radiant. The primer is boosted with vitamin C, peptides, and hyaluronic acid. There is supposed to be, I think, hyaluronic acid and plant extracts in the blush um, and nourishing emollients in the gel bronzer. So for the bronzer, I got it in the shade Sweet Tea and the blush, they had a couple of shades. Um, I think for the bronzer, there's three shades and for the blush, I think there was like four to five. This one's in the shade Born Yesterday. So it's like one of their like pinky, pinky shades. And then I also picked this up as well. This is in the shade Champagne, Champagne Breakfast. Um, they had it in like a rose gold and like a champagne color. And then I think they had like a clear universal. Very similar to what I think the e.l.f. like highlight sticks were. I'm not sure if it's the same formula or if it's going to perform the same. But that's what like that universal one looked like. It says the face off triple threat is it's not just a highlighter it's hydrating it's brightening and it's buildable so i'm very excited to try these products they also had i think new lip like glosses uh new lip liners so there was a few other things i was not really interested in everything i did grab what i was really intrigued with so if you are curious just as much as i am of this new face off line i don't think the primer is part of that line but everything else is you know what to do. While I open this up, you know, I'll give you some time to go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you would like, as well as that like button if you enjoy this video. I would love for you to be part of the fam. So this is what the primer looks like. It's in like a little pump, which I really appreciate. It looks really cute. It looks like pretty nice for a drugstore and for it being hard candy. So really, really excited. So we're gonna go ahead and see. I'm just gonna put it in my hands. Oh guys, oh my God, look at these nails. I don't know if you can see, like aren't they so pretty? They're like a matte and then this one of course has like some shimmer and this one has some jewels. I love these nails. I, so I'm like looking in the viewfinder to make sure that I'm getting them in view, but these are press-ons. I'm starting to build my own, like do your own nails at home, like dip nails and, like UV lamp and all of that like I have I'm starting to build my own kit to do my own nails at home so I have some things coming from Amazon and then I should be set to do my own nails but until then I wanted to put on some press-ons because I felt like my nails are looking a bit sad um, so I just cut them file them and then I put on these press-ons the glue even feels pretty hardcore too so they are from kiss I will go ahead and link them down below if you're interested I wish I could have had these on for Valentine's Day because they're so pretty Okay, back to the primer. I feel like I'm talking a lot and really fast for being very tired. Ooh, okay. Do you see how bronzy that looks? You know what this reminds me of? Those um, drunk elephant bronzy drops. That's what that looks like. I'm just gonna like play with it just to kind of see. Like, is it gonna add, okay. So I don't know if you guys can tell, it's really like glass-like finish. This is nothing dry, very dehydrated hand. And this is with the primer. It smells like 
I can't really get my brain all wrapped around what it smells like. It smells kind of good, but there is a fragrance. And I want to say it doesn't stay, it doesn't stay super, super bronzy. But you know what? It does feel a bit like on the oily side. Like it doesn't feel just like a serum. It feels more like an oil serum, but it feels very hydrating. So I'm just going to do like not even, um, I that maybe was a full pump almost, but I didn't push it all the way down because... I don't want this. Oh my god. I'm a little I'm a little nervous because I don't want my makeup slipping and sliding everywhere. I feel like it thickens up the more you rub it though. It feels really hydrating though. Like really hydrating. I just don't know how the makeup is gonna play on top. Alright, so I'm just gonna give it some time to just kind of absorb into the skin of course every single time i turn on the camera my neighbors blast music it's like they know okay they're like oh she's talking to herself let's put on some music today is so like gray and gloomy out it's really rainy and cloudy today so i do have my um lights up so i don't have natural lighting today so i'm sorry if anything looks a bit off um but yeah that's why so i'm just tired of today's just Today's just that day that I just want to sleep, you know, just sleep all day long. For foundation, I'm just going to jump into this foundation. I haven't used this foundation in a while. It's the Believe Beauty Skin Finish Foundation, um, medium to full coverage. Um, this one is in the shade Soft Beige. I This is my second one. I finished a whole bottle of this already. I had it in a previous empties video. Um, so this is a really nice foundation and it's only $5 at Dollar General. Yesterday I had a self-care day which was really really nice and it was just starting to get to a point where I was just felt like very stressed, starting to feel like less patient, more agitated, e like more easily agitated, um, you know, just a little, a little bit more impatient. I was like, I just need like some alone time and just like a self-care day. So I took some time off of work, well not some time, I took a day off of work. Um, and just attached it on to my normal two days off so that way it would be like a nice three-day weekend for me um, I still sent my daughter to daycare and just had like a just had a couple hours to myself you know because I feel like on both days off I'm always with people and then at work I'm always with people so I just needed like a moment to myself to just relax no one in my ear and I just binge watched some Netflix I watched um, how I met your father I know of the show How I Met Your Mother, but I never really got into that show, but How I Met Your Father caught my attention because Hilary Duff is in it, and I love Hilary Duff, so I was very excited to finally start it and watch it. Um, there's another one I want to watch as well. Actually, that isn't Netflix. I think that's Hulu. Yeah. Sorry. I said Netflix. I've been watched Hulu. But yeah. I never watch shows anymore. Like, there's always, like, a list of shows I want to watch or people's recommendations, but... I just never have a chance I'm always doing something so that primer will push a glow through because this foundation is not a dewy foundation it's more of like a natural finish like satin in a way like it's just your skin but better type of foundation so how dewy this is looking is really due to that primer I wouldn't put a dewy foundation on top of that primer I would put either one like this or even like a matte foundation also if you have oily skin I don't know how that's gonna play for concealer I'm just gonna very quickly put on the L'Oreal age perfect radiant concealer and then to brighten it up just a little bit I'm gonna go in with the Milani conceal and perfect eye brightener in the shade 01 rose I did declutter this and then I took it out of my declutter pile because I was like you know what let me be I should just give it a little bit more of a chance so felt a little guilty because I just bought it so I'm gonna continue to play with it before I declutter it I really want to powder so bad under my eye <clears throat> but I kind of want to wait because I don't want any powder to affect any of the cream products and if I get a little bit too much powder in areas that I shouldn't then that's gonna kind of mess things up so I'm probably just gonna have to dab out these cre like 
creases because everything is very hydrating and I know it's gonna crease up. So for bronzer, I'm really excited about this. This is the gel bronzer. So this is what the packaging looks like. The packaging itself looks very metallic, I'm not gonna lie. Before I spent my money, I did look at other people's reviews, not like the whole review on how they felt about the product, but more of just to see like the finish of it because I'm like, if it's like a metallic metallic like I'm not gonna be into that like I'm okay with it having a little shimmer a little glow but the packaging kind of scared me and it didn't look like it was super metallic when they applied it so and then I ended it I was like okay I don't want to like see other people's opinions about it because I really try not to do that it does look like a lip gloss <laughs> all right so I'm just gonna apply it straight to my face and then I'm just gonna blend it out. Oh, that's pretty. And this bronzer does have like a reddish, like a reddish undertone to it. I actually like the application. It's not lifting product off my face. And it's kind of keeping it where I want to put it, you know, so. So you see this is what it looks like on its own it just looks like a really nice like cream bronzer yeah it just looks very hydrated but not like very metallic it doesn't feel oily or anything like the primer does we're now we're gonna try out the blush I'm really really excited the blush is in the same packaging and has the same like lip gloss applicator so I'm gonna swatch the blush Ooh, that's really pretty look at that like bubblegum pink so I'm gonna try to put the blush on directly like I did the bronzer but if it doesn't work out swiping it then you can always do what I just did when I swatched it put some on your hand and then go in with a brush So the pigment is there. So I'm gonna do the same thing, put it there. You can see, like you can see it, it's there, it's pigmented. It blends out pretty nicely too. I think I put a little bit more on this side, so I'm just gonna do the same. Just like a touch. I will be putting powder over top, so that's why I'm kind of building it up to make it a little bit more pigmented. I feel like it does like start to set down so that's nice so last is the highlighter now i don't think i need to glow anymore i think i'm very dewy very glowy very healthy and hydrated right now but i do want to test this out so this is the champagne um breakfast shade in the glow kiss of color and light stick so you do have your stick product right here which I'm not gonna lie on the packaging I feel like for the packaging it makes it look a bit darker like this is more of a pale champagne and this one's more of like a bronzy so um, yeah so just keep that in mind and then I don't know why I hate I hate when products do this when they put like a hydrating core in the middle I feel like that kind of just messes with things but they do have like a heart hydrating core and then you do have like your little, you do have like a nice kabuki brush on the other side. So I'm just gonna swatch this on the back of my hand. Ooh, that's pretty. Now I can see like this, like just picking up my product. So I'm just gonna use like a foundation paddle brush and put it on that and then put it on my skin. I'm not even gonna be able to probably tell the difference. I can tell the difference. I can see where I placed it. It might be hard for you guys to see. I think this is going to be a nice highlighter stick for those days where you're not wearing much makeup. So this is what it looks like on its own. I'm just going to apply it. You can see it's not as intense as this, but this isn't blended either. Where this is more blended, it's just going to give you that nice like wet looking high point so I think this is gonna be nice for like your no makeup makeup days everything does feel very hydrating so that's nice I am dying to set my face I just feel very wet and too hydrated 
so and my hair just keeps sticking to my face I think I'm gonna go into the tried and true this is the brightening translucent mattifying powder from NYX I'm just gonna use a sponge like in the center Ooh, look at that in the center of my face that already feels so much better and then I'm just gonna use a like fluffy brush and I'm still seeing the bronzer I'm still seeing the blush show through so but oh, I had to set all right so for shadow I'm just gonna keep it very very simple I'm just gonna use the morphe um, eyeshadow palette this is the morphe 2 I got mine at Target because morphe does have like a little section at Target Here we go. Just very simple, very quick. All right, so I'm just gonna do my lashes and brows off camera. For lashes, I'm just gonna use the e.l.f. Lash and Roll Mascara. This one's in the shade, just brown. <laughs> and then for my brows, I'm kind of just sticking to what I'm using right now, which is the Maybelline Express Brow um, Slim Pencil in the shade black brown and then I'm finishing up the Thicket Stick It NYX um, brow gel it's the thickening brow mascara so this one's in the shade espresso so this one I'm going to use for my brows and then I will be right back all right and then for lips I'm just going to use the Milani lip liner this one's in the shade 03 nude I love this lip liner For lipstick, I'm going to go into one of the new e.l.f. Um, satin lipsticks. I did try one of these already in a previous, like, trying out new makeup, but I picked up another shade because I love the packaging and I love the formula. This one's in the shade Dirty Talk, and the swatches just looked like it was just like your just everyday baby pink color. Ooh, yes, like, just like your perfect, like, pinky nude. Perfect. It's exactly what I wanted. Perfect. All right. Well, I really like how this makeup look turned out. I feel fresh. I feel good now. I loved all the products. I don't think I would use all these products together again, but I think they all have a place in my makeup routine individually. I mean, like the blush and bronzer, it's okay. You know, it's just a lot of dewy, hydrating products all at once. Um, overall though it did turn out great I just had to really like set my makeup and I love this like drugstore setting powder so I mean if I would do it all over again definitely have to set but um, all these products I really really do like I think that this will be a really nice primer for those who are really really dry and like during those winter months I think in the summertime your makeup might slip around a little bit too much I was hoping that this would be a nice like alternative to the bronzy drops from the drunk elephant that a lot of people are liking but I've never tried it so it's hard for me to really compare but I don't think that that's like very oily I think it's just like a normal just liquid bronzer kind of thing um, so I think I have another thing in mind that might be a little bit more similar because if this didn't have like that oily feeling then I think that this could be a good alternative but everything that was new today I really did like I will go ahead and link all the new products down below as well as these really cute press on nails it really didn't take me long at all to put them on so i will link these down below as well if i find them let me know if like you guys enjoy links like i don't know um 
I stopped doing them because I felt like no one was really even going to the description box. I don't know why. I just kind of had that feeling. And it does take a very, very, very long time. That's why most of the time I don't do a description either. If you guys read descriptions on videos and prefer for me to put one down there, like in there, I can like continue to go ahead and put my social media and stuff in the description box. But if you guys would like me to put an actual description of the video in that box or links and you prefer that and you actually read it and stuff, go ahead and let me know down below in the comments so I know that it's not a waste of my time and I will go ahead and do that. But if no one's really bothering with that, then I'm not even going to do it. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Until next time, bye.